AG Labs, my name is Ben, hello and good morning, welcome to a new week full of, I hope, a lot of nice repairs. And today in the morning we just start with an iPhone 7 Plus, which was mailed in for day recovery. Andy already, um, already only opened the screen, okay? He didn't take out any screws, so I want just to see what about this device. Okay. What happened here? I show it to you. I show to you what happened here. Because I don't know what what's done here. So we go straight to the on hands. On hands camera. And what we see here is that here already the cover is scratched and <coughs> if we hook up power supply no short and if we try to boot 390 and then 1.3 amps okay that is was Andy that is what Andy already wrote on the form so for me normally these steps if we got two steps, so about 400 millis and then about 1.3, 1.4, normally it's a RAM problem. Directly 1.5, 1.6, 1.8 amps could be a 3VO NAND. But let's check for that. It's only experience with the values. So let's see. If my experience is right or not. So it's a day rescue job, so I don't care about the screws and don't care about the device because the customer only needs the important data, nothing more. I'm already, uh, I have already uh, another RAM here for the uh, case that we need a RAM, and here you can see that I'm just preparing an iPhone X top layer swap. That is what I do after that repair. So. And what's that? Here. All the shields already were opened. This shield already was opened. And let me see. Let me see that. Okay. I thought somebody already tried to, to solder on the CPU and the problem is if somebody already tried to solder on the CPU and then RAM is broken we got a big problem because the CPU is only thin like a piece of paper <coughs> and then we would be game over. So Now I want to check, can't understand it but okay, now we just check what's, what happened here. So we get the thermal cam. Plug it onto our iPhone. And we just use the seek for searching the fold. We can go on hands, that's, that's not a problem. So I want to see what's heating up. And I'm pretty sure it's the RAM. Yeah, directly. I will take the video for Instagram. And do you see that? Shorted RAM on an iPhone 7 Plus. I will fix that now. You see it really great that it's, in RAM, that it's a RAM issue. So my experience was right. I thought about one, 390 then 1.3 amps, mostly RAM. Okay, let's go to the on hands uh, to the microscope camera. <coughs> and how do we start in that case? Like always, cleaning the clue. Cleaning the glue around the CPU.
gently don't crack coils or don't lose them here time ago I did a RAM video for an iPhone 8 or 8 plus and somebody wrote under the video what a fucking skill level Chinese people are much better look at videos of them I never said I have a gut skill level never and I know that there, that there are some Chinese only some they are really excellent excellent technicians and perhaps they can do things like that without a microscope and within just two minutes I just show you how I do it corresponding to my skill level or what I what I can do and all what I do every day I have learned by myself by just draining my hands watching at well use and things like that so I never I never 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 said I'm the best <coughs> and I never said that I'm better than than some others it's not my intention but I try to show you a little bit of my skill level and I hope you like it I just need to get a knife so here we are so sometimes I don't understand why people are just frustrating and just hate because the world the world is bad enough we don't need to hate why should we hate each other there is no doesn't make any sense for me and here you can see where the RAM is sitting on the CPU and exactly there I just try to do a little cut. Well, that's my way to do it. I don't know if that is okay or not. I just do it because it works for me. Okay, after that we just go to board holder. Fasten the board. <coughs> I'm still sick. And then we just try to get out the ramp fast. I need to see if I can get it here. I think I could scrape a little bit more. I just want to do it as easy as possible because data are important and my success rate on RAM and CPU is 100% and that is related to these little things here.
let's just see we are in Yeah, we're done. You see? That's the way to take out the rum. Fast and easy, okay? Some people perhaps can do it faster or much better. I don't know. I just can't tell you how I do it. And now we just need to clean. And here I just need another plate, fresh one. Where's my knife? Here, okay, I take this. So we we'll take a knife quickly. Clean gently. It's not about time. So if this job is about time for you, okay. your decision but for me repair like this is for success because we need the important data and it's a customer phone so we just need to get this job done very clean and it's not all about the speed It's nice if it works fast.
but it's not all about being only fast. Clean gently here. Okay. Now that area. And for me, I always go from area to area. don't use too much heat and too long okay so in this case it's a little bit about speed because we can't use heat too long on the CPU and small amount small amount of heat Okay, now we just take a brush, when I get it here on my table, where's my brush? <coughs> <coughs> ah, it's Monday morning. Monday morning and Ben is searching his tools. piece of solder then one time around and all is nice okay Okay. Only optics now. Little polish. And we are done. Okay, you see that? 
that's really nice nice one okay and now we just check add power supply for the value and yeah the value is nice jumping up and down have a look at Instagram I will show there iPhone 7 A10 CPU without RAM the right boot behavior okay okay that's nice jumping up and down value has to be jumping and now we can just replace the RAM I just see here in that area a little bit of clue but that's okay we can use it anyway yeah that's okay that's nice having a look for the clue here I'd like to clean it a little bit more okay and it's okay It's only for preventing problems here. Okay, now we can just use some flux. And putting down the new RAM. just want to take a photo here Okay, done, having a look for a clean rum, no dirt. Okay, no dirt. <coughs> because I don't want to solder it down twice. we have to take a clean look for no dirt what's here is there any dirt here yes. okay we can take it and solder it down. Put the RAM on. Place it in the right way. And so <coughs> solder it down.
wait until the hot air has reached the right amount. Just a little bit more of airflow. And you see, it's fine. And because I just used a little bit of flux. I take a little bit more here at these areas. Okay, so it was my fault. It was my fault. I just need to get it down because I moved the rum, and that's no nice video. No, I. It never happened. It never happened to me before. Never, never, never. But now people can hate under this video and tell Ben did something not good. And you're right. I just, I made a mistake, yes. I made a mistake, but I'm not perfect at all. I'm no Chinese. I'm just Ben, <laughs> Ben from Germany, and I didn't, I did a mistake. Yes, for sure, I did a mistake, and I will fix that mistake now. We were ready normally. Within oh, 29 minutes, bad time, but we were ready. If I didn't made a mistake. But it's okay. So you see how to rebore the rum. So while I was soldering down, I just added some flux and then I knocked. Then I knocked the rum, and that was not good. That was really not good. But why wasting the video? Because I'm not a machine, I'm just a human. And I don't waste a video for things like that, never. If something like this happens, it's okay you see I'm not I don't like it but <coughs> but why I should should be uh, why I should waste the video and why I should be bad now 
Not a problem. We just rebore the ram again. today in the morning I don't know why but my do you know that sometimes your hands are not normally they are really slow and and sometimes it's just like I'm not as as relaxed as I should be but I had a bad night because my kids both of my kids are sick at the moment so I didn't sleep well and much this night I wake about 5 o'clock at night and couldn't sleep anymore so I just stand up and on days like this I'm not as relaxed as I should be for doing these works and perhaps that's the reason why this happened for a nice reball now should be looking good waiting a short time using the brush for cleaning after the solder cooled down we work with 138 in this case because it's only rum and only they rescue and I want to prevent thermal shocking and too much heat for the CPU because I need the data so I use 138 for the run. Okay, I think it looks good. Just using some air. Okay, nice reball. That's fine. And now hopefully it works. Ben, 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 what did you do here? Give me a comment if you don't like it. Write me, Ben, you fucking idiot, what did you do here? Just a little bit heating up. Flux again. And then placing down the RAM, having a look for A1, right position, 
place it place it in the right way okay and then we can just solder down and <laughs> I hope now without any problems okay move to the right position now we had enough of flux for well connecting and we are done <sighs> normally not a big job I do them four to five times up on the day corresponding to the devices which uh, are mailed in but sometimes I do four to five of them and never had a problem like this before. Really, never. You can trust me. And you see, now it's just soldered down correctly. Okay, you see the balls, it's looking nice. I just want to cool it down a little bit because it's 138. <coughs> and I think it's better to, to cool it down a little bit before I before I start, okay? So, and now we can take this here put on the screen put on the front cam flex for the ambient light sensor so that it works Put on the right power cable. And try to boot. And boom! We are back to life again. With our iPhone 7 Plus. After shorted RAM. And I did it twice, baby. Because <laughs> I'm just not relaxed enough today. So... If somebody wants to hate now and tell Ben's skills are bad, then do it. I just can show you how, how I do these repairs here. Okay, so should be booted in a second. And we have a fully working iPhone 7 Plus after shorted RAM. I hope you like it. Nice start for the week with a RAM video. I always like them because they, they give me a lot of fun. So here you can see again, it's the board I did a minute before and it's fully working, okay? iPhone 7 Plus A10 RAM, um, RAM only because of a short data rescue was successful. I hope you liked the video. If you want to learn things like that easily, you can do that at the Body Level Repair School Germany. If you are working at a repair industry for smartphones and tablets, you can just join our Facebook group Smartphone Repair Group Germany, um, I would be very happy if you would do that, um, but please answer the questions, otherwise um, we can't accept you as a member. And yeah, I hope you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and we see us with the next one. Boom! Back to life again, Use Ben. Have a nice day.